Hey there, it's the English Picker here. These are my very large Antiques Fair picking finds. This is part three. Check out the first two parts if you haven't seen it, where I covered the coins up here, and then this was the first day. Now, the second day I went back, I went back on my own this time, and uh, I was more focused in, less about enjoying the day, and more about business. Um, so these were general finds throughout the fair. This... Um, these bits here were from the rummage lady again I went back again um, and then these ones here I went back to the guy who I'd overpaid um, just because I wanted to make up for the bad day the day before but as it turned out it was it was a good day but I didn't realize it at that point um, so yeah I'll show you the things from in and about the fair first thing I picked up for a pound there was a box of photos and it's just this photo of this cool old guy with the most enormous sideburns ever. Uh, this ephemera stuff, people do buy it for greetings cards and stuff. It's uh, late Victorian probably, and for a pound I uh, should be able to, you know, get maybe get three to five out of it. Interesting piece. Um, for three pounds I picked up this set of nine carat gold earrings. It weighs a gram. So um, even if I scrapped it, I'd make seven pounds on that. Uh, next things I picked up, I got these three bits here. I paid one pound fifty each. So I picked up this. Uh, so now I paid one pound fifty for these two, and I paid a pound for the gold earring. So I paid four pounds altogether. So I uh, got this Canada enamel badge in good condition, marked sterling on the back. Then I got this bizarre but Victorian badge with a set of English hallmarks and a little sort of onyx and nine carat gold earring next thing I got for three pounds was these two bits got this uh, Victorian morning type brooch and a little gold earring fairly chunky nine carat and then for a pound I picked up uh, from a rummage thing uh, a broken pearl earring, nine carat as well, so a bit of nine carat. Then this piece here, it's, it's silver mounted tiger eye. It's really obvious, it was quite late on in the day, but the chain at the top is actually marked nine carat. Um, the chain itself weighs a gram and uh, haggled them down from eight pounds to six pounds. So uh, for six pounds, it's a good deal. Those kind of simple silver, uh, s simple gold chains are in quite demand so uh, that's good next thing I picked up I actually paid over scrap for this but um, there was a stall a lot of stalls that were selling stuff at a pound a gram but this place it was 65p a gram I paid uh, 14.95 so just under 15 pounds for all these bits here so my money back pretty much is in this because this is a one uh, dollar or crown sized coin mount pendant these things typically sell for between 10 and 15 pounds on ebay um, so I've got most of my money back just there and I picked things that were light but decorative so we've got a nice silver pendant there with a, probably a garnet then we've got a Charles Rennie Macintosh pendant and then there was a lot of, sort of damaged stuff hence why and then there's this piece which is Lovely fretwork, needs re re making round again. Easy fix for me. Then an older carved, engraved ring again needs making round. Then this is a quite a small ring, but again needs rejigging. Not a problem. And then an onyx and sil sterling silver ring, again needs a bit of work, but that's not a problem. Lovely little fish pendant. And then we've got a floral one there and a little heart. And then this Moonstone Macintosh style necklace. So um, for £15 I, I should double up, maybe triple up. Um, so yeah, light pieces, but pieces with a lot of craftsmanship in them. Okay, the next thing I got was from the Rummage Woman again. I went back and bought all this lot here. I paid £15 for it and I think it did quite well. Uh, got a sterling silver chain here, uh, the 
catches missing, hence why it was in there, no doubt. Um, so yeah, fair some weight to that replacement catch, dead easy. 50% uh, silver threepence and a Dutch 25 cent coin. A load of 9 carat gold earring backs, four of them, and a 9 carat gold safety chain. That's that's really good because they're expensive. Then a set of 800 silver filigree and carved shell cameo earrings. I'm missing the tops, but that's an easy fix. A Pisces sterling silver pendant, an amethyst and silver cross here. Then a uh, silver and CZ thing, and then um, sterling silver needs cleaning heart, open heart. Then uh, this is a CZ, I thought it could have been white gold, but it's actually Mark 925, so for scrap, small scrap silver, bits that could be made into pendants, um, some kind of green stone and silver pendant, and then a whole slew of, of Silver chains there, and in amongst those, there was this Welsh dragon on this quite heavy sterling silver chain, and CZ's sterling silver cross on quite a nice box chain needs cleaning. Then thought this could have been gold, but it's not. Needs a replacement stone just there, probably a pearl or something. It's actually gold on sterling silver, but once I fix that up, that'll be quite a nice piece. And then the star fine, which I'm probably going to keep myself is this lovely ring uh, engraved and it would have been a nice ring on its own but also let me see in the inside there it's been made out of a coin probably like a half crown or a florin uh, English coin it's uh, George V so it's probably 50% silver but just a lovely um, really cool looking coin uh, ring there so uh, yeah probably keep that one myself so yeah for for the fifteen pounds I paid, um, I should double, maybe triple up on that. Okay, next thing I found um, was, and the last thing I found, went back to the same rummage guy. He did a house clearances, and he'd he'd given me a lot of grief the day before, and said, "Oh, you know, uh, my daughter goes through all this. She won't find any gold or silver. Blah blah blah." I'd ended up paying too much, and at that time, I didn't realise that I'd done good well potentially with this ring so um yeah i went back and i tried to right some wrongs and i definitely did um i got all this lot here you'll see in front of you for 30 pounds now that sounds a lot but actually it's quite good got a sterling silver and amethyst pendant a uh, little i think this is sterling silver but i haven't tested it yet so it could be nine carat but i think it's sterling I thought this could have been gold, but it's actually gold on silver, which is a shame. Um, earring. Uh, this was dead grubby, but I've cleaned it up. It's sterling silver and paste stone eternity ring. These sell quite well, so it's not marked, so it's, it's probably quite an old piece. All the stones are there, which is good, so that's good. A uh, little coin capsule for myself. These need cleaning, but they're amber and sterling silver earrings. There's a pair of those. And this is a lovely piece. It's some kind of scarf or cravat uh, pin. Um, not marked, not hallmarked, but beautiful condition with some lovely stones. Really nice piece. Might probably get about £15 for that maybe. Uh, Indian style sterling silver bracelet with uh, inlaid bone bit there. So interesting. Maybe for the melting pot, not too sure. Uh, then the next thing I've got, this is cool. It's a, um, it's, it sticks to a magnet. The outside bit does, and it's uh, just junk. But the inside has got a genuine, and it just pushes out. It's layered gold, but it's it's still you know still a lump of silver, 1944, Walking Liberty half dollar. So there's about six pounds worth of scrap just there. And then also I picked up this. This is one he saw. It's a shame it's gold plated, really, but it's a it's a gold plated one florin from 1915. Really nice condition. So uh, that's a cool piece. Um, I got some, and uh, now onto the very good stuff. I've got a little nine carat and uh, probably topaz earring. Destination for that is probably the scrap pile. 
They had a lovely little set of uh, nine carat and pearl earrings, genuine pearl earrings. So, because that's a set, that should do quite well actually. Then these next ones are unusual. I found them in two separate tu tubs, so I would have been happy with one. They're not marked, but they test as 14 carat, so 14 carat gold. And these are garnets on top. You can, they look. Oh, there we go. You can just see the flashes of red, but they're a pair. Now I thought that when I found one, it could have been a dress button for the top of a shirt. But now I'm thinking maybe cufflinks. But there isn't enough room in there, so not 100% sure. But you know, they'll be better sold as a piece rather than scrapping because that is lovely with the garnets. Really nice pieces. But yeah, if anybody has any idea, do drop me a comment. So I mean that made up for it there because you know they're they're easily worth thirty pounds I would say. But the next story is an interesting one. I was I was about to go because I was about to take it to the till bit where he put the price and I found this piece. And I see there was sort of loads of junky chains the whole day in there, and uh, this is a typical junky junky piece, this is just plated, this sticks to a magnet but I thought this chain looks different turns out the chain is 9 carat gold and um, so I thought oh wow that's good, so I thought what I'll do is I'll get one of the cheap cheapo chains that looks the same, put them in a little zip seal bag together and then I'll say oh look you know they're magnetic and uh, the chain itself um, weighs just over a gram so not the hugest score ever. Anyway, I was looking for another chain and I pulled out this. And um, I thought, that feels so heavy. Anyway, I'll see if I can get this. I couldn't believe what I saw up here. Just, just there, it says 18 carat. And this, my friend, is an 18 carat gold necklace. So I nearly died and I thought I've got to find another chain. So what I did is I found another, this is just a plated chain, naff, sticks to a magnet and a tiger eye pendant that sticks to a magnet. Well the man does. So I took the tiger eye pendant, put it on here, took the cross off, put it on the cheap chain and then he said, oh are these gold in here? I said, oh no, no, they're just cheap ones. And I put my magnet to it and it stuck. So he completely ignored it. Anyway, um going back to this piece, um, it's got a cross on it I'll give you a close up of the cross um, it's just a shame it's damaged just there it, it's marked with someone's initials there and some others on the side but there's no hole marks or anything so I've got to test this carefully I might see if I can fix it because it looks quite an old piece so don't know fairly crude and it's a hollow piece but the chain checks out it tests as 18 carat so um, the cross itself I think weighs just over a gram um, but I'll show you how much the chain weighs and this is great the chain weighs well, in total the chain weighs 4.49 so um, the um, the chain itself weighs uh, 3.1 something anyway I worked out current day scrap prices ignoring the cross even if the cross was just rolled gold um, the ch chain itself would scrap at 72 pounds I just can't believe it it's karma really for the overpaying before and I'm really happy I don't sound it because it's a silly o'clock in the morning but it's one of the best scores I've had in ages so um Thanks for watching everyone, um, hope you made it to the end of this video, thanks for bearing with me because I've got a lot of stuff, but if anybody knows anything about any of the finds or can help me identify some pieces that would be much appreciated. So thanks for watching everyone, please rate, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you all soon.